Hi, I'm Peter Haddock and I'm learning about cranes today. First of all, folks, before we talk to Christoph, who is the planner extraordinaire, we can see that next to us, I've got to find the crane. And there's a new thing that Lieber have just introduced us to, Crane Finder, where you type in all the core details that you want, what you've got to lift, uh, how far, etc., etc., finds you a crane. Then Christoph and his magic starts to happen because Christoph, if we've got the loads, we know what the crane is, we need to then plan it safely on site. So here we have a 3D model of what that's doing. And it's like a 3D digital twin, Christoph, yeah. that we can create ourselves with the crane itself. Tell me about it. We're starting with a big hazard sign here as well, because that warns us the capabilities of the crane were overstretching folks. Come on, what's it all about? Okay, the so crane planner basically is about 2D, uh, two things. It's about the geometry. So what's the radius, what's the height, what's the size of my crane, where can I reach it, but as well um, to not interfere with the, the environment, so like collisions, like... How far yeah. you can lift it, you know. Yeah. So it, we, what we're saying here is we've got a green bar there, folks. So as we have configured it and we're saying where we need to move the, the load to, yeah. we can't move outside that load, can we? So, you know, we see that here folks, that won't let us move outside the load. And that's really important because what we're saying is, have we got the right crane? Well, we've used the crane finder, so we should have the right crane. Then, have we got the actual right capability of that crane to lift the heights and over the buildings or the structures or where it needs to go, haven't we? This allows us to make sure that that's all right before the crane even gets onto site. And that's critical, because if you get onto site with the wrong crane and you haven't configured it and you yeah. can't lift it, we're in big trouble, aren't we? Yeah, you are. Yeah. So therefore, how does it work, and what do what do I do? It's it's on it's in the in the cloud, so I haven't got to get download software or anything like that. It's it's available, isn't it, like in the cloud? So it's a client. So yeah. like any Chromium or like any web browser, it's a client. So you don't have any data or some of the data, like the three D client of data, are stored on the local client. Yeah. And uh, what I call the inner values of the crane, the LML values, are stored on on the cloud. So each of those configurations came with a construction plan, like a, we call it the blueprint, yep. and explains you what of the intersection pieces are there, where are the A-frames, are there A-frames, what is the, uh, the crit size uh, that's coming from the server, and tells you how to bit, uh, ping, um, <laughs> It's uh, explaining you how to um, combine all those uh, components together. Yep. And then we ask the, the server about uh, what's the capacity and what's the increase of freedom. So where can we move? Yep. For instance, there's some, some configuration that can be moved uh, over 45 degrees over the site. Some are limited in the, uh, in the angles or in the luffer. Uh, all those variations came from the server and are calculated by the LML, the, the load moment limitation of the machine. And so it, that indicates us what is the, the load charter actually, what is the, the center of gravity, what is the, the forces that are applied to the ground or the pressure if it's a crawler crane. So all data that are stored on machine and executed on machine for machine safety and security are also used in Crane Planner. So it's one-to-one -one the very same configuration and calculation based in reality and in what you call the digital twin. And a really exciting thing about this, folks, is this is available not just to you know, the, the owner of this, the job site looking at the crane. It's available to the operators. It's available to, to the contractors. And it's also available yeah. to engineers. You've even yeah. been working with universities on the development of the next phase of this, because this has got a lot of capability into it. Yeah. But it's, there's a lot of planning going into this one for the next level of capability as well, isn't it? And yeah. tell me a little bit about what's to come. We've got this right now, but what is going to be an enhanced uh, as it moves forward? So what you see here is uh, one of the next prototypes we are working on. It's the 3D import. So maybe you're familiar with BIM, yeah, the yeah, yeah. information modeling. Yep. So that's basically using the so-called IFC format. It's the industry foundation class that can be imported here as well as DWG with it, uh, from, from Autodesk, the DWG format. Um, that's what we're actually working on. Next phases might be tandem lifting or uh, what we call generic rigging yep. uh, to have uh, the rotation of load or have several loads uh, or cranes attached on the very same load like a tandem lift uh, or having an animation. So there are a lot of topics that can be. But on the other side as well, we are bringing more and more machines in there. So right. we're having the, 
the Nansing machines, the Nansing crawlers, the Nansing uh, HS machines. We also having or working now on the LTM uh, per portfolio. So there are another 10 or 12 machines still missing. Um, the Ehingen, the big crawler missing. Um, we are working on the MK, the mobile construction crane, and we are having some more um, cranes from the maritime section as well. So there's a lot going on here there in the crane planning environment, folks. And this is going to be available to people literally to get on right now, isn't it? That, you know, and as we configure more things into it, as we talk to people and customers to see what they want, we can actually plan what we're going to do in the digital environment before we get onto site. Obviously, we've got to look at site conditions and things like that. But folks, we've got the crane finder, that'll find the crane. Now we've got the crane planner, that'll help us plan it. Then we've got even more configurations to come. So a lot more support for the crane industry. Great to talk to you, Christoph. Cheers. Welcome, yeah. Have a good day. And you. Yeah.